I'm going to teach you how to play this. So let's get started. In order to learn that, you have to break it down. So the first step is learning the finger picking pattern. So when you're doing this finger picking pattern, you're gonna use these four fingers, every finger minus your pinky, and every finger gets its own designated string, okay? So the thumb gets the G string, the pointer finger gets the C string, the ring, the middle finger gets the E string, and the ring finger gets the A string, okay? So the pinky, what do you do with your pinky? Well. You can either hold it like this and just kind of let it droop, or you can, sometimes I'll actually place it on the ukulele to give myself a little bit of a rest, something to push off from. But in general, you don't want to press hard on the ukulele, you want to hold it as lightly as you can. But the pattern is like this, okay? It's going to start with your thumb and ring finger at the same time. And then you're going to do, after that, your middle finger and pointer finger. Once you get that, then you add the thumb again. Then after you add the thumb, you do back to the ring finger and the middle finger. So practice that until you have it uh, completely perfect, no mess ups, and don't even think about going on to the next section until you have that down. Okay, so after you have the finger picking pattern down, you're gonna make a C chord, okay? Now, the nice thing about the ukulele is, one of the many nice things, obviously, if you just play it in open, you don't fret anything, it's actually a variation of C. So it's kind of easy to play in C, because the ukulele is kind of tuned to C. So that's why C is one of the easiest chords. You're only fretting this string on the third fret, okay? So we're gonna do that same pattern. We're gonna do it with a C chord. And you might wanna start a little slower. start moving this C chord around okay so we're gonna go from three to five to seven to five okay do that for a while until you get really comfortable with it and the second to last step is we're going to change, we're going to, when we go from the C up two frets, we're gonna actually use our pointer finger on the E string to fret that first fret. And if your fingers aren't, if your hands aren't long enough, you might not be able to use this uh, ring finger. You might have to use your pinky, but you can do either of those. So we're gonna go from the regular C, and then we go up two and fret this. when we go up to the seventh fret, we're gonna do that same thing with this, go up two. So from this up to the seventh fret here and the third fret here. And we're gonna go back down. So it's the same pattern instead of this. You're adding in this on the E string. So get comfortable with that. Slow it down, I might be going a little bit fast here until you get the basics of it, don't speed it up. So you might be doing something like this. Okay, and then I have one little thing at the end to add, okay? So at the last part, I go from the three to the two on this high string, okay? So it sounds all together like this.
all broken down. Now, this was one of the first uh, finger picking patterns that I kind of figured out and played around with. And it sounds really good and there's a lot of different variations you can do on it. And to me, because you're only fretting two strings, it's, it's not very difficult. Uh, a lot of finger picking can be, or finger style, can be much more complicated than that with bar chords and other things. But with this, you're only fretting two, and when you're first starting off, you're only fretting one. And it's a really cool pattern, and it's kind of a good foundation to move on to more advanced finger style stuff. So give it a try, take it slow, take it bit by bit, and let me know how it goes in the comments. Play around with it, and hopefully uh, you can get it to sound nice, and it can be kind of a foundational point for learning finger style guitar. Think finger style ukulele. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna have a link in the video description to a website which will have those diagrams in the video enlarged. If they're not big enough for you in the video or if you just wanna save them as an image, I'll have a link to that so you can click on that as well. Thanks guys.